And so, so if, if we, we live, live in, in a country, country, not people within the country, any of what will accept the business marketer, we are doomed. Take it or leave it. We are doomed. What would take the local businessman out of business? One, interest rate is bad. Inti, own to me in competing with a Chinese businessman. Take it or leave it. Own to me. And Sasemi Majina Haka, I just cannot comprehend why things are getting difficult and nobody seems to be responding to it. Yeah, what GIPC law, it talks about the fact that the Ghanaian solely would have to go into retail business. So what it means that it's life solely on somebody. Yamani to me, say oh I'm sure, say that Ghanaian businessman, that Ghanaian businesswoman, Nejuma because so that the foreign businessman Obano will go solely into wholesale business. And they are what one I just shops in Abosho. And you expect me, the Ghanaian, to survive. When that Chinese go to the Chinese bank, or Jilona, interest they also, it will create two percent. But walk into any of our banks for loan, and it's about 35%. Whose duty is it to ensure say, the Ghanaian businessman will do well? And now for those of you who follow our agenda, many global info analytics, one of the most many more executive directors, I'm sure here, you watched it. What they talked about, so when you visit areas here, supposedly, a year NPP dominated constituencies. The people there are losing faith in government because when we are businessmen and women, you go to baby to say La Paz, businessmen and women, all of them, they move from their homes to Makola and those places to go and do business. And to say, well, my foreignness, hey, dominated the marketer. It is as bad as in BAD, bad. Somewhere last week, so you witnessed me, any good for her. And they would in your mabana be good porter. You are unable to clear them. You are unable to clear them. Now, me na maya ma port wo ni amana koye. Somebody's duty is to ensure say that Ghanaian businesswoman, that Ghanaian businessman, ne juma ebekoso. What are we doing? Is it not sad? See at your maimu. Na about forty percent of the businessmen and women on the market. Eh, aho ho. Into your 60, 60 no crano. Who come when you now the boomer? Who the agree to the 10% of that 40%? What are we doing to ourselves? And if we are not careful, the Ghanaian businessman, the Ghanaian businesswoman, will continuously go out of business because you are not only 100,000 Ghana cities. Aye, Juma, and they see cano. I cut 200. I cut 20,000 Ghana cities. Okoka, we work as oh, and I will hear politics. This has nothing to do with politics. This is about bread and butter. Because to come on here, a politics in the world. Momo be the mama me. So when we are telling the truth, then you get angry. Every serious nation should look at this publication and say, say no, then something is wrong somewhere. Something is wrong somewhere. And they uko galam say mwa China for na juwa bosu uko uko circle hey ya foreigners have taken over the marketer and ye Ghana foreigners here you heard nobody is against a foreigner coming to invest into the country no nobody is against that don't sit somewhere and say this is what I'm preaching I am not preaching that but I should be much concerned say that Ghanaian businessman is going out of business that Ghanaian businesswoman why would the city not suffer because when they come in and they make so much profit I'm the third dollar no the and that only I remember you see the watch and so who is sitting to think for Ghana who will sit down and think about Ghana and the future of Ghana because the name is about 40 percent too you dear grow when it crosses 50 percent they will swallow the rest of the 50 percent businessmen and women and I will call bank or Jiloa, won't mean service. You can't pay. This should be a great cause to, call, to worry. It should be because if that Ghanaian businessman cannot walk into any of our banks to take loan and in two years be able to pay. No, because loan, we are not interested. That's when quite old Jani Jani because obviously you are taking that businessman out of business. 
Somebody should be worried. Somebody, listen to me, should be extremely worried. And me, I am worried. I am worried. If you read from that article, Guta for yeah, yeah, business analyst for a publisher, you will come to understand why the economy is becoming too difficult for everybody to live in. You come to understand why. Because most of the things they are talking about are highly unfavorable to the Ghanaian businessman. Highly. And we should be, we should be worried as a people. Mugu finance ministry, what are you doing? What are you doing? People have voted into power to solve problems. You are not voted into power to add up to the problems. You are not. That is not why Ghanaian voted for anybody. And yes, you are to make Those of you who have followed me, Edu Sabre, I have always told you, so when I stand here, I don't care about your feelings. I thought I don't care about your emotions. I don't care about what you believe in. I only care about Ghana at this time. Now, you are Koso. When the Ghanaian business sinks and foreigners take over, you and I will beg for food. Now, how many of them and almost can be sure of us for Krumwa? How many of them and almost can be sure of us for Krumwa? And a gun and near Juma and a Kosua. On my gun and a tumpo. If we are talking about CD dollar ratio and we are talking about how the dollar is dealing mercilessly with the Ghanaian CDR, we can also look at how the Ghanaian businesses are not doing well. That is the only problem I hear. Because when the foreign businesses are doing well, oh, yes, you can't know where we are. No, they are per dollar. No, they are to account to me. The gun and Yejuma, called Abu Yesterday I was there. It's so sad. It, it is highly and extremely sad. But now shop what the whole day and touch it. Yeah, but to be we so now they are not to and was able to. And you think we shouldn't talk? Give me a break. Your friend.